I'm pure non-physical energy you said before your birth into this body I'm pure non-physical energy and I know the laws of the universe and I am fully empowered and now a part of this consciousness that is me I'm going to present or project or focus into a new leading edge environment where there are unlimited potential new experiences and so many unknowns now humans say why 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 would I be all-knowing and all-powerful what could possibly be the reason that I would focus my consciousness into something that's new and we say because in the new in the new combining there is a new desire that is born in other words it's this eternal never-ending creative experience it's what eternity is about without exposure to contrast so now let's think about let's let's step back you all right because this is right out there on the leading edge so the differences that we have described between you and your humanness and non-physical is that while there is resistance in every particle of the universe even in non-physical the resistance that exists in the non-physical where source is where what you call God is where your inner being is would not be discernible from your physical perspective it is so refined that if there were an instrument that could read contrast it could not read contrast in non-physical because it would need to be an instrument that is so refined that it does not exist just to make a distinction it still exists it's just not discernible from your human perspective so what are we saying in that we're saying something that our earlier friend wanted to say there's a sort of grounding in the physicalness there's a willingness to expose yourself to a greater degree of contrast because out of the contrast is born the new you weren't as willing as you act like you are now in this regard you knew you were being born with guidance and you knew that while you were going to be exposed to contrast that you would feel when you'd gone too far you knew that your guidance system would let you know if you were reaching beyond the bounds that your inner being would be willing to go you knew you weren't going to fall out of an airplane you knew you were completely safe in the process of that you were willing to come into a physical experience where you did not have that kind of control because the expansion was the bigger prize the eternal nature of your beingness mattered more to you than the security of staying the same and so it's this perfect process where the non-physical part of you said we'll remain here constant and sure and you're the pioneers out here on the leading edge where you will discover something new that you want and as soon as you want it we will acknowledge the perfection of that which you have honed from this and we will give our undivided attention to the new desire that is born within you and we will make it so vibrationally and you said because we are all creators and the leading edge is out here where you are you said and I in my physical form will connect with the energy that creates worlds and together we will make this idea that was born out of contrast something that is real that is tangible that others can live and see you get it out of war you want peace and out of a desire for peace you discover a way to live it but you do it in concert with this energy that creates worlds this is a big topic we got all over it so, so in a way I I agree to be ignorant of that I agreed that instead of a band like this of exploration that I would be born into a body where I had a band like this of exploration because I knew out of a band like this of exploration that it would launch more rockets of desire over here to where they're tended under this band of exploration I was willing to get out there on the leading bleeding edge a little bit for the purpose of discovering something that is more but there's a really big point that we have not woven into this the why of all of it why why if I'm pure positive energy and I'm experiencing 
no resistance, which is what so many humans think is the objective that we're teaching here. It isn't. We can see how you might decide that from what you hear from us. If you were in a place of no resistance, why would you come into a place where there's more resistance? Because out of that, you give birth to new ideas. Well, what's the point of giving birth to a new idea if giving birth to a new idea I'm just going to allow it and receive it what's the point in other words what's the point of expansion what's the point of evolution what's the point of becoming more because it's so fun to go from less to more it's so satisfying when your life gives you an idea of something that you might like to experience beyond what is and when your life gives you a big idea a big reason for wanting something to be better and then you find ways of releasing resistance of what's missing and finding the belief in the laws of the universe and the steady eye of your non-physical inner being and you get in concert with that so that you have the vision of what you're reaching for so that the vision of what you're reaching for is more emphatic than the reality that exists outside of it or the reality that even gave birth to it and then you stand in the power of that energy and you get to witness all of the forces of the universe bringing your idea into reality let's say you're a painter and you're really good at it and you've painted a lot of really good things and you have a gallery and there's a lot of stuff in there and people come and they look at it they're uplifted by it and they like it and you just stand there all day and just look at what you've done or you go into your workshop and you paint some more well what's more appealing to you just stand there and appreciate your previous work or to be inspired by new beauty to discover new mediums and to discover new textures and to find new ways of displaying your creative genius what's more satisfying to you to stand there and watch what has been done or to be in the process of becoming more we're just asking you in practical terms what feels better to you becoming is a big deal becoming is a big deal in fact it's an eternal deal it's a deal that you can't stop becoming you can't cease being in the process of becoming but a lot of what we say falls on deaf ears with you with humans because you just keep wanting to get the becoming done so that you can have become <laughs> I don't want to create my fortune I just want my fortune and I don't want to attract my lover I just want to be with my lover I don't want to come to know it I want to know it and we say it's the becoming that is what life really is the never-ending becoming that's the juicy stuff and so that's why physicality is so delicious because in physicality there's a start point here I am here I am and now what do I want and life causes you to launch it whether you want to or not but when you come to understand the laws of the universe and then you deliberately click into the vibration of what you've already given birth to even though it hasn't manifested and then you get to tune into the energy so much that you begin seeing the vision and seeing the movie and having the daydream and feeling the impulses and then you follow those feelings and you follow those impulses and you watch your own hands in the clay turning the thoughts that once you thought the vibrations that you once offered you get the experience the delicious experience of those thoughts turning to things you get to to witness that you see and in your lazy humanness you might say oh big deal but we promise you it is a really big deal sometimes you're so tired that these words just sound like oh really I just like to die and rest <laughs> but what's making you tired is your own resistance and when you discover the power of non resistant thought then you're going to explore the palette of diversity in to which you are focused in a whole new way you're going to love every single person that does every single weird thing you're going to appreciate all the trouble that they make for each other because it's the stuff that your new thoughts are made out of you appreciate this broad palette of this physical experience because out of it is born your dreams to which you don't have access at first but because you don't have access to it at first it makes the discovery the access of it that much more sweet to you it's like being really really hungry before you eat as compared to eating all day long and not wanting to eat anymore
you come with a hunger for the expansion of that which you are and why is that hunger never satisfied why is that hunger to expand never satisfied because it's that good in a sort of similar way you might say Esther says it often to her family and friends I'm never going to be hungry again <laughs> and then they all laugh because they know that isn't true because sometimes they eat and they are so satisfied but isn't it nice that you become hungry again isn't it nice that the details of your body and the cellular machinations of your body are always putting you into a place where there is more desire for more and while the analogy is not perfect they never are it's sort of like that you have an eternal hunger for being that is satisfied by launching rockets and acknowledging that there is a gap for a while and then the satisfaction is in closing that gap and feeling the power of who you are but these words are not reaching you quite yet in the way that they one day will because as you think about some of the things that we've been talking about here today and you acknowledge the existence of the law of attraction and you acknowledge the existence of your vortexual reality of your vibrational reality and you pay attention to the way you feel and you do something about tending to your own vibration you get out ahead of things by pre-paving and pre-planning you put yourself in the most conducive possible opportunity to receive inspiration from your inner being by praising and appreciating and rampaging and meditating and soothing yourself in other words you use all the tricks that you can find anywhere anything that causes you to feel good you do it on a really regular basis and then you begin your day by tuning yourself and then as you move into your day the first thing that feels a little off to you you make your effort to pivot you make your effort to find a thought that feels better and if that doesn't work you change the subject and if that doesn't work you take a nap but your quest is always the same thing for the nap your quest is always the same thing your quest is alignment your quest is knowledge your quest is wholeness you see and so we get your questions it's like Abraham I don't quite get it I was whole and then part of me came and I deliberately caused a sort of separation what's the point of that and we say what you're calling a separation we're calling a refinement was for the purpose of you discovering in a more tactile way things that you would like to create in this environment where things become tangible we want you to accept that this time and space is the leading edge of creation it's nice to have a thought and it's nice to have a dream but oh isn't it even more nice for that dream to become a reality it's nice to think nice thoughts it's nice to think about love but isn't it delicious to have an object of attention to which you are flowing your love the tangible realness of this physical time and space is the epitome of creating that's why you took your creative genius and you brought yourself here but then you shoot yourself in the foot by clamoring with each other and judging each other about how well you're creating and by making judgments about what's the right thing to create and what's the wrong thing to create until you sort of have polluted the whole tray of colors and substances until you don't allow yourself the satisfaction that could be there if you weren't in judgment of each other if you would just accept the perfection of all of the differences of that which you are if you could accept the perfection without judgment of all of the differences that you are then you would have this huge palette from which to choose and when you launch a desire and then follow the lead of how your inner being feels about it and then witness all things coming into place to give you exactly what you want you would lose your sense of competition you would lose your sense of people getting more than their fair share of the pie you would lose your sense of injustice you would lose your sense of vulnerability you would discover and practice and hone and own your sense of invincibility and of perfection and of worthiness and you would feel satisfaction all of the days of this physical life and you would set future generations up for more satisfaction as well that's really what's going on here nothing is going wrong